Good afternoon. Welcome to Grumpy Sheep Happy Llama. We're coming to you from Eastern Ontario, Canada. I'm Robin. I'm Sylvie. And welcome to our podcast. Yay. So welcome to both new and returning viewers. So yes. it's good to see you. So normally we talk about uh, our our cows that we're, we're doing that we're hosting. We talk about our, our whips, our FOs, and then we go into spinning and then any other crafts uh, such as like cross stitching or sewing or anything else. So that's how uh, we what we normally talk about. Um, cows right now, we're still working on our uh, Canadian designer cows and that's going on until March 31st. So there's still a couple of weeks left. Could be anything, it doesn't have to be a big project at all. It could just be like some socks, socks or fingerless <laughs> mitts or mittens or hats or toques or whatever. So it could be tiny things, baby socks. Baby socks, <laughs> yes. <laughs> There we go. Kate Afford, she's Canadian. So yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Can make a plethora of babies. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So, normally it's what we're wearing. That too. We're not really wearing much. No. We did it. <laughs> I just came in from outside. It's the, 20, it's the 15th of March. Yeah. And I was outside in bare feet, leggings, and a t shirt knitting. Because yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Now we're getting a storm or something, but it's just yeah. very unusual weather for here. It is. But I was going to enjoy it for a Friday afternoon. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll talk about our whips first. Our whips. Our works in progress. Yeah, I um, have not been doing all that much <laughs> these past two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I do, I did show this before and you'll see there's no progress because I've had to think back. This is the Dragonfly Dance, Dragonfly Dancing Dragonflies by um, Great Owl, Great Owl Knits. And this is obviously for our, our cow. And I noticed that I had dropped a stitch or two and then I noticed that my pattern because of that wasn't following back here like it should be. So I had to ting back and I'm back to where I started. That's too bad. <laughs> From the last time I showed you. That's too bad. So it is, but that's okay. I'll just keep, uh, I'll just get in the rhythm of it and then it'll be done in no time. Good, so. Yeah, excellent. So the one and only whip that I've been working on, it's been a, a not so good knitting couple of weeks. Yeah, anyway. it's been, yeah, it's been really busy. I've, I've had the same and I have, a whole bunch of secret stuff so mm. I couldn't show them and they're done but I can't show you so then I had an extra little spurt where I could cast on all the things so I had something <laughs> to talk about now I have too much that's okay so um, anyway so this is I'm just cast on this afternoon actually the Musselberg hat oh nice been wanting to do that for yeah, a you, long you time you haven't did one yet have no, you no I have not and uh I'm, it's Musselburgh not Musselberg. So I cast on today. It's this is kind of dark. You can't really see it. I don't think. Oh, there, there we go. go. So this is from Old Stash. Uh, I was going through my trying to amalgamate some bins outside. Mm -hmm. I was organizing, and came across this skein of sock yarn that I probably purchased in 2015, 2016. Oh. So I thought, aha, you'd be make a good muscle burra hat. For sure. So I finally got to cast that on today. Nice. So, and plus I need to have, we're doing some stuff tomorrow, so I need to have some plain some little little knitting. stocking Yeah, that's to do. very true. I'm going to have to find something to... Or cast something on. Uh, <laughs> you know what? You know how I was saying that colorway, I have something similar. I think I'm going to cast on a pair of socks with that. Oh. With a pattern that I have in mind to go with it. So anyways, I might just do that. It's like an easy pattern. Oh, good. That's good. Because I hate tinking. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything else that you brought with you? Not whip wise, because like I said, that's, I mean, I've worked, I do have some finished objects to show that I've worked on these past two weeks, but whip wise, no, it's, the okay. floor is yours. I will, ooh and, I will ooh and ah what you have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think this is a secret, but this was a test knit that I did for Paper Daisy. Mm. I had test knit the same pattern with a DK weight yarn, and so this time she wanted it done for a fingering weight yarn. So these are for my dad. They're massive because his feet are size 15. Wow. Which means from heel to toe, it's 12 inches. And now his leg looks really short in comparison to his foot, <laughs> but it's a seven inch leg. But that's done, and I use, only have one done so far, and that's done in Opal and in Knit Picks stroll fingering in green. I figured those would go put together. Nice. And again, stash, so that'll go out of my stash. the name of the pattern? Do we know? No, because they don't okay. have fake names first, oh, and then okay. you get the real name after out, it's yeah, released, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have that on the go. Mm -hmm. I have another, this is my third, Yarn Cozy. Oh, you love those. I do. And That's I have hard. a lot of yarns that need cozies. <laughs> Because I have a lot of whips. Yeah. So yeah, so I have, this is my third one. 
Nice. And uh, yeah, I'm quite enjoying it. It's another easy knit to do. So I'm liking that. And a stash buster, because then you can use whatever. And it's only uses, I think it was 12 grams. So yeah. I can get a whole bunch out of one skein. One skein for sure. Yeah. And that pattern you got from Nitty Natty, I think, was yes, it? Yes, I did. Yeah. And I got two it. of them. So she has one for me in minis. I'm going to have to make those oh, two. Oh, cool. Yes. And one, and then this is for the regular size cake of yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. I also have um, what I'm go about to cast on. Okay. So, sorry. That's okay. Scrappy socks. I have two weeks to finish another pair, my third pair of scrappy socks. So this was my pair number two. And I did last two time. Two or one? Two. Because oh. my other ones, I, actually I took them off to go outside. <laughs> so they're the full, completely random scrappy socks. Oh, that's right. These were planned scrappy socks. Right. This is Corn Maze by Dana Ray Makes. I love these socks. And this was done with um, mini skeins from Les Belles Bouclettes. So it's part mohair, part uh, wool. Yeah. And then I have Bear from Knit Picks that has sparkle in it. So I have that in there. And last time when we were nice. podcasting, I had ripped out yep. my heel, my heel, my cuff, <laughs> and I was knitting up and finishing that. So I wanted to show you, I'm done. I've that could go in the Canadian designer cow too. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. But I don't get points because I don't matter because I don't get prizes. Because that's okay. Prizes. But I did. You did. <laughs> so anyway, so I did that. I'm also, oh, this is stained. I also. Is it or is it just the lighting? Look it. Yeah, it's stained. Or is it the wool? It's the wool. Oh. Ah. Yeah. All right. So I'm, um, uh, should I talk about this now? I'm designing another pair of socks. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to be looking for testers, actually, like, right away. I'm looking for my sock. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I, was like, I, I was like, I knew I saw it somewhere. <laughs> I know. So I'll be looking for testers for size. I'm doing a pattern that has both a short row heel with um, wraps and turns yeah. and a heel flap and gusset. So I want to have two options in the pattern. So I need to have a size small testing done for both types of heel and also a size large hmm. for the heel flap and gusset. The other sizes are covered, but I'm going to put a test call out in our group on Ravelry and see if anybody can test that for me. So this is the one sock that's done. Nice. I don't want to see the hanging tag. This is the one sock that's done. So all over, and it's all over, um, all over lice, it's called in Norwegian. I'm not sure what the, the word is in English, but anyway, or that is the word from the Norwegian. So that's the pattern there. So that I'd like to have some testing done for. Mm -hmm. So I'll put the information in our thread. If you're interested, please uh, check out the thread on Ravelry and then send me um, a direct message. And then I thought I would also try it out with white, just that's plain old for people who are newish to color work and maybe just want to mm -hmm. do a blurb and then a blurb at the toe without doing the lace all, lace all the way through. So then I have these socks too. That This is the heel flap and gusset. The other one was a short row heel. Nice. And then and so for that. So anyway, that's done just as a photograph. But for the testing, I would like to have all the lace all the way through. Not just like that. Nice, nice. Thank you. And I'm going to show this again because <laughs> I like them. <laughs> They're very pretty. So this is the first design that I did and released called Get Ripped. I really like these. And I know I'm biased, but I guess, anyway, I really no, like them. They're, they're, and again, like I've said, when I, I haven't finished the other sock yet, but I mean, definitely, like, if you want to do, like, vanilla knitting, but not completely vanilla knitting, like, these are perfect for that. Thank you. And it fits nicely, too. And it's, like, yeah. very potato chippy. Very much. Bubble gummy. Yep. Is that bubble gum? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never heard of bubble gum. Anyway, yeah. So this is something that I just wanted to show again. So yeah. uh, my goal is to have Ravelry give me a big invoice. <laughs> that so would the be more, nice. The more, the more patterns that people buy, I have to pay Ravelry. So my thing is that that's my goal. Okay, Ravelry, give me a big invoice. <laughs> That'll make me happy. So back to non-designs, not my designs, but Canadian designs. And scrap knitting. I like so, how you put it in your little basket. Yeah, my little, this is like the, when our mushrooms come in. So I saved this bin and then I put my little bits yeah, in. Yeah, that's a great way of using it. Thank you. So I wanted, my plan was to knit another completely random scrappy socks. And as I discussed before, that's really hard for me. So I figured I should do it again. Oh. I started off that way. Yeah. And I, I had, I emptied out my stuff on the floor and then I ended up getting my color wheel. <laughs> I feel I'm gonna hide that color wheel. No, I'm oh, no, but it's good because then I'm also learning about color and stuff. Yeah. So I'm making a tetrad 
which is a term I never knew before. So which is four different colors. So I'm going to have blue, blue green, which is this kind of a tealy color. I'm going to have, <clears throat> excuse me, red orange, which is like my mm -hmm. socks that I just showed. I call this angry salmon, but <laughs> I don't think that's the actual name. And violet is the other branch of the color. Mm -hmm. This is pretty string. And the other one is yellow gold. So, or yellow, I guess. So different shades of yellow. So that's what I'm going to go with. And to make the like, wet sock pattern yeah. you're going to make, Robin. I was just asking that to myself. <laughs> I'm, double, I'm double dipping. Oops, my balls are going everywhere. <laughs> So what pattern? I'm going to double dip with our Canadian Nidola. And so the pattern is the Crystalline Socks by, uh-oh, North, Northwood, North Country. Show you on the, where the picture is? That's Corinne, oh, Northwoods Knits. I wrote it down. Northwood, oh, there North Woods Knits Company by Carly Perrins. Cool. So that's what I'm going to be doing. That's my scrappy sock for that. Can you show the picture of it? At least, or without showing? I'm going to try. Oh, I thought that maybe I could just... There. Cool. So, that's the pattern. And one more. No, maybe two more. Maybe three. <laughs> I do have some FOs, I think. Okay, so, I also, I have this book, and I really like it, and I've been meaning, today was kind of like just doing the stuff that you've been meaning to do for a mm, long time, stop right. talking about it and do it. Yeah. I still have so many of those. I just saw the ice cream ones. I like it. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. She just saw a pattern in there with ice cream. Yeah, this is a like, really, really cute. This is a really nice book. And she's coming out with another one, I think, in January. Very cool. And I'll be getting that one, too. So what I want to make are... Oops, not those. That's the one I was hawing about. <laughs> Yes, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's pastels. Oh, that's what it's called. Yeah. No, that's what the colors are. So, coffee socks. And I'm going to be doing it in more stash. So, this is um, Colorista, and this is her mm -hmm. The Old City in French. Something like that. Or The Old Vieux City. Quebec? Le Vieux Sal? Thing or other. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But that's Colorista and it's BFL. And then this is Invictus Yarns mm -hmm. with sparkle stuff in it. So that'll be my coffee. <laughs> that'll be my contrast color. <laughs> but that's okay. Because that's a really old stash too. That's like from 2012-ish. Wow. So Good, you're really using your stash. That's awesome. Yes, I'm trying. Thank you. Do you have one more minute? Of course, we all have one more minute. Sorry. <laughs> Intermittently, I've been talking about stockings and making stockings and so on and so forth. And so I'm going to do it. So these are the needles. I, the only place I could find 1.25 millimeter needles, which is a UK or a oh, Canadian so size 18. It's a good thing because it's going to hold a lot of stitches. Wow. Is uh, in Vancouver at Urban Yarns. So thank you, Urban Yarns. And then they also had a sale on some lace weight yarn. Oh, pretty. So I got some of that because that's the only thing I can think to put on 1.25. You know how small that is? That's small. That's the size of a toothpick or smaller. Mm, pretty close. Anyway. Yeah, yes. it is. So anyway, that's going to be my attempt. I hope next to have some stockings. progress next time. Thank you. I don't know how long it's going to take but to make stockings. So like, what do you mean? Like up to your knees, up to your thighs? Yeah. The thigh? Yeah, up to the thigh. Some place in the thigh. You can do it. Oh, yeah. It's just, yeah. Minute. Okay, so my last whip. Well, do you want to do it together as your FO and my whip? <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought for sure you would have it done. I know. It's we got in the band, the chicken bandwagon. Emotional support chicken. Yeah. And um I'm missing stuffing. Mm. So I couldn't finish it. But I did all the knitting in one day, and I was so happy. Like, all this that I'm going to show you right now was done in one day. I guess. And I'm super happy with it. And I got my yarn from a kit from... Cactus Yarns. Cactus Yarns, thank you. I was just, like, going to have a brain fart right there. So, yeah, Cactus Yarn. And uh, I'm super happy. And so, fact, I see a, a future sweater. Yeah. We this is the okay. belly. That's the belly. <laughs> <laughs> with Cactus Yarn Studio, she named her kits... So you get to pick the name of the chicken you wanted to make. So I th there was a Lucille in there, and there yeah. was a Daisy in there, I think. There was a Germaine. 
Who did you pick? Maggie. Maggie. There's yeah, Maggie. I've got Maggie. I, I picked Claudette. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. Hers is round, mine's flat. <laughs> little chicken. Yeah. She's got big boobs. Of course. It's a little bit lopsided, <laughs> but that's okay. She's, uh, she's nice and squishy. Yeah, and Denise <laughs> made one in fingering weight yarn, so yeah. it's smaller than that, but it's super nice too. Uh, it's it's like like she, like Robin said, she knit all of hers in one day. It's such an easy knit to do, so easy to knit, like especially with worsted. Definitely like a rainy day, you don't know what to do. Knit yourself a knit yourself a nice little chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and who cares what your husband says? <laughs> Actually, I was surprised I showed this to my husband. I said, look at my chicken. And he thought it was so cute. He's like, I want one. I'm no. like, you serious? Really? <laughs> and he was laughing. I was like, I can, you know, we could have each our chicken on each side of our bed. <laughs> <laughs> Not tonight, honey. I'm talking to my chicken. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so if you guys uh, jumped on the chicken bandwagon, as they say, let us know. It'd be fun to see uh, your chickens. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's fun. Yeah, I really, I really like the pattern. Yeah, yeah, it was very nice to knit. Yeah. So you want to see something else that was on my list for a year and I kept putting off and I sure. found this today? Ready? <laughs> I feel really good about this. It's a bit wonky. Oh. It's a bit wonky. It's my first time sewing in a zipper on knit fabric. Oh boy. It, How did it go? That well, eh? <laughs> it moves. Like it's, it, it's not like like fabric fabric, yeah. like cotton fabric. So I found that I wanted to have my my ends butt, my edges butt up like this and the zipper, you couldn't see it. I guess it, for you guys, it would be this way. So to butt it up so you wouldn't see the zipper. Right. And I pinned it that way, but as soon as I started to sew it, it flattened out and oh. spread so you can see the zipper. And I just thought, screw it, it's for the farm. It's not like he's gonna be going to the office or anything with this. Who cares? I did my best. Is it really that bad? Let me see. And then I had to make sure I lined <laughs> up the stripes because there are stripes, right? And then when you're doing that, the fabric pulls and stretches. And even though I had it pinned, so then I had like these olive stripes. So then it was kind of like this as opposed to like this. Oh. So anyway, I did a lot of ripping out and redoing. A lot of swearing? Done. No, I didn't swear. <laughs> I actually didn't oh, swear. It looks good. Thank you. It looks really good. What are you talking about? Thank you. Well, it doesn't look the way I had intended it to look. And I did, like I said, I did a lot of ripping out and redoing. But when he wears it, it won't show. Like, I, I'm so, just looking at it now and you could, it looks really, really good. He's already been you. wearing it, hasn't he? No. Oh, no? No. I thought he did. No, I've been having, it's been sitting in my whip pile for a year. Okay. And then I remember I lost the zipper for a while. Oh, it got dislocated, like removed from where this was. But I'm pretty happy with this too, because it's the kind of zipper, the two-ended zipper. So if he sits down, if it's too long and he sits down, he can undo the bottom part of the zipper yeah. to open it up. Oh, some threads. And uh, well, this is the perfect time of year for him to start wearing. Which it is too. why I wanted mm -hmm. to get it done. So this is finally done. Yay! Yay. Good for oh, you. Thank you. That must oh. feel good, eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I felt like I had to cast on fifty things after. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, like what's her face? Yar the yarn, and yarn, uh, yarn and yarns. Yes. Yeah. See, she embraces it. She just loves it. I she know. needs to have those whips. No, <laughs> no. I, I, you know what? I don't mind, but then it comes up to a point where I do mind. I guess yeah. you could say, you know, I'm having fun with all my whips, and it's like, okay, this is way too much. I really need to. I'm feeling overwhelmed right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like that too. Like I want to finish my easy V. I haven't finished it yet. But I've been so busy with other stuff. But anyway. Oh, sorry, guys. To, now I'm not, but I still have other stuff that I. But then I, I join these things. That's the thing. I join these things with the Canadian cow in our yeah. group, right? Yeah. And then the scrappy socks. And then I have these things that become priority over. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that ends the end of the month, so. And it then there's something it, else. It, of course. <laughs> Well, that's just like, are we going, are you, were you going into our FOs or? Yes, that was it. Okay. Well, see, just talking about that. So yeah. Okay. So I haven't really been knitting on anything else. Obviously I've knit my chicken. So that took some, like a day or two for me to do. Um, but I finished a toque. I finished a toque in like one day or two evenings, like an evening and a day, I guess you could say for my nephew, my six year old nephew, he came by last weekend for a visit and, um, 
I guess what happened is at school he forgot to bring his toque so at the, his school they have like a basket of toques for kids to wear if they're missing something warm to wear when they go outside to play and he found a nice blue toque in that bin when the, the day that he forgot his hat his toque um, and he fell in love with it and he wanted to take it home and his mom said no you can't because it belongs to the school right and so of course my nephew is so smart he thought of me that loves to knit <laughs> so he asked me to knit him a toque this way so he sent me the picture of the toque and everything so luckily in my stash I did have the colors that uh very very close to what he wanted this is from my outlander um club oh from Lolo did it from Lolo did it yeah so these are really, really nice colorways, nice. and I still have lots to do something else with. So what I did is I knit um, just a simple toque. I held the, the yarns together to make it a DK weight. I'll pop a picture here of the toque uh, just like that and with him wearing it. So it's just a simple toque. I just put these two together to do the ribbing, like about a two inch ribbing. And then it just used this here to do uh, the rest of the hat, I guess you could say. And then I did just before I did the decrease, I just put these two together again. And I think I did two or three rounds of them together and then I decreased with just this one. Good. So, and he loved it. So it was exactly what he wanted. So I was happy with that. So that was, whoo, mad knitting. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. And what was fun with that is that my sister started knitting with no. me that day. She said, because my nephew has like a little, little elephant that he likes to walk around with. So my sister's like, you know what? Give me some yarn and some needles. I'll knit the, the elephant a little scarf. Wow. <laughs> so she just did some straight knitting. Not very large, like 10, 10 stitches, probably about this but long. Still. Yeah, she sat there and she did it. So Good for her. I was like, oh, what are you going to knit? Yeah, knit next. She's like, I Sucks. don't know. She's like, you're not close enough for me to start knitting. I said, you've got a yarn it. store at your, in the, at your, That's where true. you go there. That's true. That's very true. Good for her. Anyway, so that was fun. Yeah, so I finished my chicken and I finished my hat. That was very that was, good. I was thinking on my way, I was like, I don't have much. I don't want to do it. And then I was like, what are you talking about? You finished your chicken. You did a hat in the weekend. Like, come yeah, on. Good. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, I finished a thing. That I can't talk about, but because it's so really good. I know, but it felt really good. To good. Get that done. Yeah. So but that's you've done. Been doing some carding. Are we done with our FO? Sorry, I'm jumping left right now. No, that's okay. And I realized that we're talking at like warp speed. <gasps> I know. We need to slow down. Sorry. Sorry. Should we like start over? And then no. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We've been talking. We will very slow quickly. down. Yes. So I know sometimes there are some people I know that speak very quickly, and I can't hear them fast enough. So I yeah. hope that we were not like that right now. No, and, and I guess, you know, I came straight from work too, and I'm feeling like, uh, you know, your hubby came back from work, so I'm feeling, I think, the pressure of, oh, I need to get this done so you can get your things done with your hubby. <laughs> That's all right. I started supper at two, so I just have there to you basically assemble it so it's good. Good. So uh, yeah, we had uh, some. We had a. Uh, I couldn't leave work as early as she thought she could no. today, and we're doing this on a Friday because we had stuff last weekend. Well, my sister family. was so yeah. Yeah. So and then it's just been busy. So and we're doing what we can, and now she's gonna have an all nighter because she's gonna. I need to cast something else on for tomorrow. No, no, and also because you oh, gotta. Yes, I gotta post this for tonight. So yes, I do for. For later for on, our yes, people I do. Are waiting with bated breath. <laughs> Yes, uh, all our fans. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, spinning, I... I love the color. Thank you. Did I, did I, I can't remember if I talked about sending off all that wool last time. Oh, that's... Spinning. No, I don't think so, but you showed your skeins. Okay. You did show your skeins, but you were not quite finished with it. Okay, it's gone. I nailed it off. Freedom! And, and then it was, but because, and I wasn't, I wasn't spinning, like, and I wasn't spinning every day. And it wasn't spinning stuff I wanted to spin. Yeah. And so anyway, so now I'm getting back into spinning every You're day. You're catching up. But it's been a little bit of a, a trial, so yeah. to spin for myself. So I gotta put this down and start showing you stuff. So are you gonna wanna do that again? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. I mean it was just stressful, I guess, because I knew what the person wanted and I wasn't able to provide that and I thought that I could, so I was disappointed with that. And I was right. worried 
I was happy I'm not knitting the sweater, but at the same time, I was worried it wasn't going to be what the knitter wanted. But it turns out she's crazy happy. She keeps sending oh, good. me. She keeps sending me emails about how nice it is. Good. And, I'm happy uh, to hear that. Yeah, th yeah, me too. <laughs> I have to say, I lost a little bit of sleep over it. And uh, she wanted to know what the breed of the sheep was, and because she really likes the yarn and so on and so forth. So I was really like nice. super relieved with that, and it's done. Um, I think that I might be more the person who makes something and puts it up for sale as opposed to custom order. Yeah, I think. I, or, but when I did that one thing with that whole sheep um, from the guy in BC that did barter system. Mm -hmm. I had no problem. But you with had that. no pressure, though. I had no pressure because I don't think he had a time limit, no, right? And he didn't have. He just said whatever you make. Yeah. So I yeah. got to experiment to make him a few different things, and I had already been paid because the the, I, the whole thing was to exchange a fleece. I got my own fleece, and I would I would do his fleece, and uh, and that was fun. So that experience kind of led me to believe that okay, maybe this would be okay. So anyway, it's okay as long as there's no time a deadline, like a set deadline. Yeah, and it wasn't yeah, even like, a, and it wasn't even a set deadline. He just wanted it as soon as he could, so right, that he okay. could have time to wear it because he's elderly. So anyway, so once that was done, I went out to the barn and went through bins because I had received some stuff from the mill, but I didn't even have time to open it or look at anything yet. So I opened up two things, just the first two that I opened. The rest I still haven't even opened yet. Mm -hmm. So this, I think this is my old Shropshire fleece. I had Shropshire like. Mm at least 10 years ago, probably 10 years ago. Yes. It's very short. So it wasn't fun to spin because it was very short. And what it, what it was doing for me, even when I tried carding it, it would make clumps. So I'd get like, like sausages, you know, like links yeah. of sausage. Yeah. And it was doing that. And I just thought, eh. And then I have this and I have no idea what it is, but it's really nice. So I thought, I'm going to blend it and see what happens. Good idea. Thank you. So that's what I've been doing. So oh, that's what that that's is. That's what this is. Nice. So I was blending it on my hand card. So I have all these roll eggs, and I was kind of doing roughly, rough. I wasn't measuring it. I was just doing a layer of white and then a layer of brown, yeah. and then carding it. And it's OK if it doesn't look even, but that's what I'm doing. That's and I'm not gorgeous. sure what I'm going to spin. This might end up being a prize, because I said I would do a hand yeah. spin prize. Oh, I like that. That's really nice. Thank you. So this would be probably a finger sport weight when it's mm. done. When I'm when I'm spinning, it's on my wheel, which is why I'm pointing over there. So that's what I've finally been spinning. And then I just today got my next Hello Yarn order. So oh, you still have a subscription with them? I'm not giving that one up. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Because Southern Cross Fiber retired, right? Oh, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. So I feel really dis I mean, I understand retirement, but it's just yeah, really yeah. disappointing. So because I, I don't like change. <laughs> so. Well, especially you, you really enjoyed his fiber. I too, did, so yeah. yeah. And then I quit his and I quit his club, and I was thinking, man, if I'd known, I would have stayed on. No. But I, I'm, I still have lots of his yeah. stuff. And there's, you know, there are lots of things, lots of people. So I got this. Nice. And I'm very happy with it. And then I pulled out of my stash somewhere, and there it is. This stuff by, I don't know how to pronounce it, Ixchel. I'm going to say Ixchel, oh, but yeah. it's I-X-C-H-E-L. And this is our club from June 2023 that I haven't, see, I've got lots to spin. So I pulled this out, but then I got my Hello Yarn. I'll probably spin my Hello Yarn first. 2023. Yeah, because it's um, Corridale, mm -hmm. and it's just be a really quick spin and then it's out of my spin bin nice thank you wow i think i blew through all of that <laughs> that's good the, all your obligatory stuff uh yeah you deserve to do what you want to do now <laughs> thank you yeah it's a bit crazy so now i have mm. to make sure that i finish things what i should do is take notes of i i probably just most people probably do this, take notes what we talk about, so I can make sure I finish what it is that I started. Well, you'll podcast. show eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. So do you have anything else? No, I wish I did. I mean, I've worked a little bit, like, if talking cross-stitch, if we're mm -hmm. done with knitting cross-stitch-wise, I have um, done some more on my quilted temperature, so oh. I'll show that another time when I've got more stuff, more of it done. Okay. Um, 
I the I've joined the um, not the Lola Crow did it salad. No, you got the Alchemy I, or whatever it's called. Uh, the Herbalist. Herbalist. The Herbalist uh, from World on a String. So that started today. So oh, um, it started today. Yeah. Like you actually have stuff to stitch today. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I just don't have the fabric, and neither do I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the floss is with Tiffany and the fabric is uh, in the middle. So, okay. <laughs> or the cloth or whatever. So that's coming my way soon. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Good. <laughs> I signed up for Lola Crow. Yeah. Because it's the ocean. And when I is the, that the starting ocean. again? In April. Sometime. Okay. I guess we're close to April. Yeah. But uh, it feels far away. But I signed up for that. I thought the pre-order was going to be the first of March. And then it was like, I kept refreshing the page. And then it wouldn't. And then I found out it was like, just what, last weekend? I guess so. Yeah, anyway, I was a bit early. Yeah. That's okay. I thought about that doing that one, but I wasn't uh, feeling the ocean this time. No, I'll I... probably regret it, but it's okay. But you can buy it after the fact. <laughs> True. Right? I'll wait and see what it looks like. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I got pre-ordered Arctic Knits. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Really, really beautiful. So, um, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> From the beginning. I suppose so. It's a beautiful book. If you have, well, you know, it's it's the petite knitter, and her stuff is beautiful, and I love her colors. Just well, well, it's just natural colors. It's, it's natural great. colors, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's beautiful. And I'm flipping through, and you can't see what I'm looking at, but I'm trying to see what it is that's the first pattern. I like her pattern that she came out with her sock pattern of squirrels. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I got that pattern. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah, I, <laughs> I like squirrels. <laughs> so that's the first pattern in the book. I don't like, in there it looks like the arm yeah. holes are really low. I don't like yeah. that, so I would start them earlier. But I measure, I, I checked out what the yoke deck was, and it's the same as it is for Hinterland, Hinterland, oh. Hinterland Mountain Mist. So and that one you love. And that one I love. So maybe it depends on how tall you are. Mm. So what size you make. So that's a really good book. I recommend this, uh, although she's sold out right now, but she has a waiting list if you want to order the next run. And that's what I wanted to talk about. The cup, feel the cover. Oh, like the cover material is really nice yeah. and very durable. It's um almost like a kind of vinyl. I don't know how to almost, describe it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's very durable. It's very nice. It's a very uh, good quality book. So I'm quite impressed with it. So very happy with that. So thank you. And the other book, I ordered this a couple of weeks ago and I didn't have time to even look at it until today. So today I was looking through it and it's like, I want to make all the patterns, all of them. And there are how many? 20. There are 20 patterns in here and uh, they're fantastic. So every, every pattern is a nice, a nice, nice. pattern. Yeah. I wouldn't have any wall space <laughs> at all. There's, there's an ocean one. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you could do other stuff with it. You don't have to all hang them. Right? No, that's so. true. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful book with color graph, mm -hmm. but it also has symbols in the squares. So you don't have to just worry about uh, figuring and out which color. And what's fun with that, I mean, like Steve, for example, this, you have this little butterfly. You can maybe just stitch that on something, you know what I yeah, mean? You like you don't do have to do. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. so there's another one. Yeah. That's what's fun about those kind of patterns. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's a really good book. So I, if you're interested, I can put the right. So you can put the name of sure. the book in the in the bottom and who the author is. And that's a really nice book if you're into cross stitching and you probably have it already because I'm a late to arrive for all these things. <laughs> not necessarily. So, not necessarily. So I think that's I think that's it. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. The kitchen table is full. And we did all that in 33 minutes. Well, I think because we probably we're on fast forward most of the time. So again, sorry if we were talking a little bit quick at the beginning. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So yeah. So we're going to be off uh, tomorrow on, I guess you could say yarn crawls, I guess you can say. Yeah. All that. We're going to visit a few shops in Ottawa. So maybe if I could think about it, because I'm such an, I'm so in the moment sometimes I don't think of taking out my um, camera and right, taking pictures, taking pictures and stuff. So I've got to think about that. That'll so I will do my best for tomorrow for next podcast. So I could show you guys what we were up to. Yeah. Yeah. And get ready because our next knit along will be brioche. Yes. Stitching. I was even looking at Stephen West's Oh my God, you're crazy. Excuse me dress. I have yarn to make the excuse me shawl. 
But um, I was even looking at the I like making shawls, but I hate blocking them. But the dress. But um, I don't, it's DK weight. I don't have DK weight, a lot of DK yeah. weight, and I don't necessarily want to hold two yeah, uh, weights together. For, for a dress, for to a dress a marl, that would be crazy. Yeah, yeah, to make a marl thing. Yeah. I don't think I want to do that. So I might just have to wait. Well, I'll just, I'll just knit through you, like I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just <laughs> support me. Yeah, exactly. Say, Are you done yet? <laughs> Oh, that's pretty. When are you going to get it done? Yeah, I know. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I still have to work on my long johns. But it's, <laughs> it's almost the season to start knitting them, so they'll be ready for winter. For the fall, winter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I guess uh, I guess that's it. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Again, sorry for talking very quickly, but I hope you're okay. I hope, uh, stay safe, have fun, knit on. And uh, like and subscribe if you like us. Encourage us. That it's always nice to see. Thank you. And and you can let us know. Like, please talk more slowly next time. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Thank you very much. Stay safe. And I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.